It's the Two Girls and a Bottle of Wine podcast, and I'm Janet Blair. Each week, I sit down with one of my girlfriends, whether it be Teresa, Natalie, Carrie, Kristen, Tara, Stephanie. We talk about whatever. We completely restore this trailer, you know, fry people's faces off as a bad Mexican. I don't understand the competition that goes on between women. Two girls and a bottle of wine. Over a glass of wine, bottle of wine, or sometimes a couple bottles of wine. Join in on Facebook at facebook.com slash two girls and a bottle of wine. Don't miss us. <laughs> Hello, I'm Janet. And I'm Natalie. And, and we, we are, are two, two girls, girls and, and a bottle, bottle of wine. wine. Because men like boobs. And girls like wine. Hi. I can't help but dance every time you say that. Awesome. Welcome back, Natty Waters. I dance when I hear boobs, too. <laughs> I walked right into that. <laughs> I am horrible. I'm horrible. I always do that. Oh, that's okay. So how have you been? Busy. Yes. Yeah. You've been Facebook active, which is not typical for Natty Waters. Have I? Yeah, I've noticed more pictures. Oh, Maybe, okay. you know how Facebook kind of sucks and you miss stuff? Maybe yeah. you're now active in my feed. I don't know. Um, I feel like since I post on your timeline Maybe. once a month. I sh- you should be active in my feed, but I don't understand how Facebook. I, don't, I guess I'm decides. not really. I don't post a lot of stuff. Right. I think it's more so just because I'm. I feel like I'm so busy, but I'm on it all the time, which is crazy. But I also because it's feel on your like phone, right? I don't have a lot of good things to say, so I'll do like music. Mm-hmm. I'll post music, and then recently, uh, we've been spending a lot of time with my nephew, so that's kind of popped up a lot more. So. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of pictures of you and your mini you. You guys yeah. look so much alike. Thanks. <laughs> so I adorable. made her. You did. I did. You did. It's obvious. Oh, well, that's <laughs> obvious. good. Yes. That's good. And you just had Easter. Mm-hmm. What did that entail when you have a kid in your life? Um. Well, so we went to Colorado Springs on Saturday mm-hmm. to hang out with my nephew um, so Any big Easter egg hunts? Husband, we did yesterday, but unfortunately, the sp- the family was kind of split up just due to certain circumstances. Ooh, drama, drama. So, um, my daughter was the only kid at our house, but we still did an Easter egg hunt. I for bet her. she felt like a princess. She was actually, you know, what she told me was, "It's not as fun when you are the only kid doing it." Because she's a competitive person. So I was like, all right, you little turd. Next time I will time the Easter egg hunt. There you hunt. go. Or and then she child. looks at me and she's like, well, why would you do anything like that? <laughs> little brat. No, I love her. She, she's just used to having a lot of kids around for the holidays. We have a huge family, so. Did you eat a lot of food? Yes. Dang it. It's so bad. I know. It's, it's- like... Every holiday, you're like, I'm never eating that much again. And then you freaking eat that much again at the next holiday. And now it's like, mm, hopefully with the warm weather, I'll it'll stave off my hunger and or just the right. cravings. And so now I'm like, oh, got to gotta get that out of my Are you life. still doing the gym thing? That was like your 2015 no. thing. What? I, I, I've taken breaks, and that's mostly because we started doing renovations on our house. Which requires some physical activity. And I'm actually just more so keeping everything else, I guess, in line or together. Mm-hmm. So it was my husband, his dad, and then my brother-in-law that were doing the wood, the laminate flooring in our house. So oh, wow. I was kind of keeping up with the chores and that kind of, kind of stuff. So That's tiring. Especially when Probably it's so beautiful more so for outside. Them. I know. We were just talking about that. Yes. So even though I've been, you know, out and about with, with the family, mm-hmm. like during the week I've been either working or in the house trying to keep everything calm and collected. How do you do the balancing of the mom, the I work, the creative, natty? I suck at it. Like I was telling my husband this weekend that I think – I don't know. I just, I think I got to get a better hold on it because last summer I was doing the creative. Yes. And I wasn't doing as much family time. It's all about the balance. Yeah. Whereas this year I feel like I've focused more on family time and I've had a couple of projects, but not a whole lot. So I'm I'm trying to, maybe this will be the year of trying to get everything balanced out. So It's hard. It is so hard. I don't yeah. have any little ones, but still the balance between 
home life, right. work life, and then having fun because life is too oh, short yeah. to not have fun. Well, and that's the thing too. It's, you know, like our house will suffer if neither one of us are around, you know, so and our I can't, laundry will I can't back do up that. and like it freaks me out. I will not go have fun. If mm-hmm. there's chores and Steve is the opposite. He's like, it'll be Screw here when it. you get back. Yeah, no kidding. And I'm like, but I won't have any pants to wear to work. Right. <laughs> That's when you just flip them inside out. And then the next day you wear them backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't take credit for that. That's from a, a Disney movie. So. Oh. <laughs> but it was well, more so talk. about underwear. But... Speaking of Disney movies, have you taken the princess to see Cinderella? Actually, so last week was her spring break. Right. And we, and we being my mother and I, mm-hmm. my mom invited us out to go see Cinderella, but she said no. And she wanted to go see the hero, or not hero. Home. Home. So we went and saw that movie. I am so excited. I just, what's that quote from Sheldon Cooper in the movie? That- I'm so, I, my hands in the air. I'm so excited and I just do not care. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love him. He's like, my hands are in the air and I just do not care. There you go. That's pretty cute. I, I want to see that movie, but I really want to see Cinderella. She chose. You home. haven't seen it yet? Oh, no. Oh, that's right. Cause on the other podcast, you're talking about the build up and you didn't want to be disappointed. Right. Okay. And Steve's been in town and so he's kind of like, mm, don't no. want to. So I feel like I'm going to catch him in a matinee when, like, cause like Sunday matinees are oh, pretty yeah. cheap. Oh, yeah. So I'll wake up on Sunday morning early and go because he's gone the next couple of weeks. So I'm like, I'll get caught up on Cinderella. Sure. And I do want to see home because it's actually it's really good. Sheldon Cooper's awesome. What's oh, his real name? Um I don't remember. <laughs> I actually just someone's saw yelling his name right on now here. as we record. They're like, ba 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 ba. That's his real name. Nick or no. I have fart. I it's don't know. A- <laughs> I don't know. What were you gonna say? I interrupted you. Nope. I don't okay. Know. Mm-mm. It's escaped me. <laughs> I wanted to mention one more time Tara's succulent class. Awesome. I did. Yeah, I was listening to that last She time. has that. It's this coming Friday the 10th at 6.30 p.m. If you're here in the Denver area, area all you have to do is go to sharedenver.com, search for Tara Dover, and you'll find her um, spring terrarium building succulent garden workshop. And it's $35. That includes all of the supplies that you'll need and she'll walk you through building a succulent succulent garden i'm not gonna be able to make it but i am telling everyone else to go it'll be lots of fun yeah that sounds actually that sounds really fun i think my sisters and i would enjoy something like that but to do it maybe maybe i can get my mom i know my sisters are kind of on tighter schedules so but yeah i like i don't know tara's just She's, she's so crafty. She is. I don't know her so at all, creative. but every time I hear your, you know, know, the podcast, I'm like, geez, this woman. I know. Inspiring. Yeah. She just built, it's like she's building her life from like whatever she wants. It's that entrepreneur lifestyle. That's awesome. And I you go girl. Yes. She <laughs> is. She is definitely awesome. Speaking of awesome women, women crush of the week. Holler. Are you ready? Yeah, I kind of, um, wait, do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. Guess first. So I'm going to say I have one woman crush and one male crush. That's perfect. I love um, it. Making so, it different. So my male crush would be my nephew. Oh, how old? He is 20. He'll be 21 in May. Okay. <clears throat> but the reason why we've been spending a lot of time together is actually he'll be deployed out for the first time. Oh, so I mean, where is he going? I I don't know if I'm allowed to say that just because they're still here. Um, and I don't really know the whole situation. Is it danger, danger? I don't think so. Okay. Um, however, I just, it's his first time deploying out. And so we've been spending a lot of time just in case, you know, and more so just because he's in the state. And he's been in Georgia for the last two years. Okay. So it's like, why not just spend time with him? And, you know, because he's going to be gone for a long time anyways, like right. probably like 10 months or so, if not more. Um, so it's, you know, we're just trying to make the best of that. And, um, you know. That's and, awesome. Well, that here, is awesome. Like here in the U.S., you're always told that you can grow up to be whatever you want to be. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people politically are charged with um, 
soldiers are, we don't really need them here. Because we have like a peaceful, well, I mean, if you think about it, some Oh, people, like physically being here to make us safe. Well, no, I think more so just their political stance. They oh. don't agree with the whole war thing, which I'm- War happens. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, as as an individual that chooses to go into that profession, I mean, mm-hmm. it takes a lot of balls. It really does. And so- Because you never know where you're going to end up. Right. It's wherever- the They're going to send you. Decides to. So. Yeah. Well, and and that's just kind of my thing is, you know, I never really agreed with, you know, sending our troops out. But I, I am thankful for those that do have the courage to right. stand up for us, you know, wherever it is that they do get sent. Wherever and whenever. And I just spoke with a college, um, a person I went to college with. He was deployed three or four times Mm -hmm. and the toll it's taken on his body and his mind is just well that's yeah and i think that's kind of why i in my younger years i disagreed with it because why do we put our people through that right but at the same time it's their decision it is it's what they want to do they volunteer there's no you know they don't have the draft or anything right right now so it is all volunteer right and but I, I mean, so for my man crush, it would be my nephew because he's, That's awesome. he's doing the courage, the, the courageous thing that I would never Mm-mm. in my life be able to do. Um, his wife would be my Aww. woman crush. He's married. That's He's married hard. and they have a little girl. She's about 18 months old and then mm-hmm. they have another baby on the way. Oh my goodness. So she's going to have to be one strong mama. When for does the next he deploy? On a couple of days. And when does she do? She's due in, I think, November. Wow. So he'll be gone, I think, after our sh- He'll be gone. Where is she based out of? Like They're in the she- Springs. Okay, so she is local, so she can yeah, reach out to you guys? Yeah, she'll definitely have some support. Family, at least she's not in Georgia, you right. know, where he- she had been. So, I mean, it just takes... It's going to take a lot, and I know, and I've seen, you know, she's already an awesome mom, and she's going to have to provide that for two babies now. So, they're my I feel like once you get through the the first one, it gets easier. And this is just from my mommy friends. They're Uh like, the second one is much easier than the first one. The third one gets a little harder because there's more, but it's easier when it comes to parenting. Absolutely. So, the fact that she's already an awesome mom, she'll just continue the trend. Right. And I think... It goes without saying, I mean, for any woman mm-hmm. or man, you know, that are in the services, if you're on the Army side or in the military services and right. you're going over. You don't over, want to pick a side. There's Army Right. Navy I'm sorry. Marine. They'll freak out. I've had, actually, I've <laughs> had friends in all of them. So I know people that have been in every branch. Mm-hmm. Um, but people that go out there and risk their lives, you know, for us who don't have that heart or charisma or whatever you want to call it. That courage. Courage. Uh, people that do that, you know, it takes a lot of, a lot of guts. It and does. And all the women that are left home with the children, you know, that's huge. That's crazy. It's huge. It's huge. And a lot of them choose to be stay at home moms because that person is absent. And I think that's a great choice. Sure. Because when you have a, a spouse that's traveling for, you know, 10 to, Plus months, mm-hmm. it's it's good to have someone that's there that's that supporting, stable, yeah. and right. awesome person. So, yeah, and I mean that. I think it gives you a lot more. Ugh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot more gratitude, or a lot more. Um, it gives you more peace of mind that you are out there doing right, s- doing what you doing can, doing the good thing for the people back home. Yes, that's awesome. So, Natalie, yeah. you rock. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Natty. Natty. Thanks. No, no, Natty. <laughs> Natalie, Natty, whatever. Natty was just an alias that no one would find me. <laughs> right. And I for, try and help for, you stick uh, with that. It's okay. It's cool. My name is Natalie, and I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my woman crush of the week is a celebrity. Okay. Again. That's okay. Candace Cameron Burr. Did you watch Full House? Oh, yeah. So Full House has been in the news lately, and I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that soon when it comes to um, 
Hollywood happenings, but um, Candace Cameron, she was DJ, DJ Tanner. Mm-hmm. I was obsessed with her when I was growing up. Sure, older sister. Yeah, because yeah. that's what I was, and I was like, yes. Did I'm- you have the bangs, too? I I did from time to time. Nice. <laughs> 